Speaking of traffic, <laughs> City of Orinda has got some cool cars. It's a classic car show. Yeah, it'll be tomorrow in downtown Orinda. And if you're a fan of Mustangs like that and Cobras, you don't actually have to wait to go there. You can go to a museum in Martinez. They've got a whole bunch of these kinds of cars. And I had a chance to check it out. Hopefully they didn't let you drive. There's nothing quite like the sound and style of a classic race car like the Shelby Cobra. It's one of America's most iconic muscle cars. And if you're a fan of cars like this, you really got to check out the Cobra Experience Museum in Martinez. When you first walk in, you're going to see 25,000 square feet of Shelby memorabilia collected over about 55 years. That's Drew Sir. He created this shrine to the Shelby Cobra in 2014, but his love for the car started way before that. I fell in love with the Cobra from the Hot Rod magazines and, and uh, Car and Driver magazines. I was in high school at the time, and I had an English book on the outside and a road and track on the inside, and I said, someday I gotta get me one of these. And then, one day, he did. In about 1974, uh, spring of 74, my brother-in-law was a UPS driver, and he came to me and said, you know, there's a Cobra place out in Pacheco, and they got a lot of Cobras in there. So I went out and looked, and of course, the guy that owns the place put his arm around me and said, look, I got a deal for you. 1,500 bucks, you could have this car. Of course, it had hit a guardrail down at Riverside, and the front, the nose was all bent up, and uh, I went home and thought about it. As fate has it, I bought the Cobra, 1500 bucks. What'd your parents think of that? My parents were livid. My mom, she said, that car doesn't even have door handles or roll up windows. What are you thinking? So it was about three and a half years later, I got the car all fixed up, I got it painted, and I sold the car for $38,500, set the check on the kitchen table, showed it to my mother. Not another word about cars. Well, that car would be the first of many over the years that Drew would buy and restore. In fact, his passion grew to the point that in 2002, he bought a business called Cobra Performance. And it was the remains of Shelby American. It was Shelby American's inventory. So it was chock full of parts. It was chock full of parts, yeah. And with more parts came more rebuilds and eventually the need for more space, which is what inspired him to move here and create the Cobra Experience. This museum is here to tell the next generation about what Shelby did back in the 60s. People don't realize how important it was as it created a whole generation of Ford enthusiasts, all because of Carroll Shelby. Well, you got so many beautiful cars in here. What do, what do people gravitate towards? This one here is probably the most favorite car in the museum. Uh, we purchased it from Ken Miles' son. This uh, was it, in the movie. This was in the movie, Ford versus Ferrari. Christian Bale played Ken Miles, Miles in there. Yeah. That's correct. At Willow Springs is where most of the car was shot. It's a favorite because all the little kids get to come and sit in the seat and pretend like they're going fast. Most important to us that everyone that walks through the door has a great experience. That's why we called it the Cobra Experience. There's, there's a lot of hardware here. There's a lot of stuff but the people behind it is where the stories are. And that right there, that's the magic of this museum. It's more than a collection. It's a connection to a bygone era of automotive genius. I don't know how I ended up being in charge of carrying on the legacy. Uh, I feel that it's very important that it does happen. And this is part of it, is showing all the stuff and telling people about the stories, about the different personalities. Uh, that story has to be told, and for some reason, I have to do it. I don't know why. It's, uh, you know, build it and they will come. Here we are. <laughs> well, if you want to see more cars like that, you're going to check out for sure the Orinda Classic Car Show tomorrow. Incredible. It's from 10 until 2. You think they let you eat in the car? No. <laughs> But Absolutely not. You want to hear something cool? What? That car that was in the movie, Ford versus yeah, Ferrari. Yeah, yeah, the white one, yeah. That's the car they'll teach you how to drive a stick in. They have a what? program that'll teach you how to drive manual transmission, and you get to drive and learn in that race car. Okay, that's also not a great idea. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because the crank when you shift wrong. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, check out the Arena Car Show tomorrow. It should be a whole lot of fun. All right, coming up next on the Crop